earlier this week, a mountain lion was spotted roaming around Caldwell. Wow! Seeing a mountain lion in these parts, not all that common, but a peacock, our network's mascot, that got our attention. In tonight's Idaho Life, I hit the Boise bench where at least one peacock is on the prowl. It's like something you'd see on National Geographic. Only this was on the Boise bench in Matthew Peppersack's backyard. So he did what most people would do. He took to Facebook. So I'm inside doing laundry and on the other side of the wall, I thought I heard a cat meowing. Come in the backyard and Kayla's like, we got a peacock in our backyard. I'm like, no way. It's got its back to turn to me right now, but hey buddy, turn around. A peacock in his backyard. I mean, he is full on flared out in my backyard right now. Caleb, is this the craziest thing you've ever seen? Yeah. We agree, Caleb. The male peacock was the first time I had seen the male peacock because we've we've got the females, or yeah, the females are over on Nez Pierce, uh, just running up and down the roads. The blue peacock is native to India and Sri Lanka, but a peacock in Boise? Oh, that there's a lot of wild peacocks hanging around. Really? We think it's about seven peacocks that live anywhere from Federal Way all the way over uh, through the bench. So they're just around. What the crazy, like, that's so beautiful. I mean, you see them at the zoo and stuff, but not in your own backyard. So where did they come from? So a lot of people think that they escaped the zoo. That's one of the uh, rumors that's out there. Uh, we believe that it was an owner who had peacocks at one point in time. Um, they may have moved on, but I don't think that the zoo released those peacocks. And why are the peacocks prowling around on the bench? Matthew has his theory. Um, I think he was just trying to find some love and he found the chickens and he tried the peacock dance on all of them. And I mean, the Brahma, she seemed to like him a little bit, but no, they didn't go for it. So. So you think he was looking for love? Yeah, definitely looking for love. This guy's in heat on the pro. While this peacock may not have been so lucky in love, Matthew Peppersack should consider himself very lucky. Do you want to say hi to the Facebook world? And you should too, if you ever see one. If you see a peacock, you should maybe go buy a lottery ticket because they say that peacocks are quite lucky if, when, if, if you had the sighting. And apparently there's a white one out there. So if you see the white one, maybe that's your very, very lucky day. All right, seriously, though, if you do see a peacock, just leave it alone. That's according to the Idaho Humane Society. Keep away. Let them have their distance. A large group of them, they say, can become pretty territorial, but uh, they say they don't really bother people. And by the way, animal control will not come and remove them, so don't even bother mm -hmm. calling them. Just admire their beauty. Matthew said that when it was <laughs> flared out like that, it was about as big as a VW bus. Yeah, can they're you? beautiful. I was, I was hoping that it would come back to the backyard when I was there. Anybody but. that's played golf at Spurwing Country Club in Meridian knows on that back side, on the other side of the fence, peacocks all over the place. I never heard ah, of that. Yeah, they ah, make the awful ah, noise. They're so annoying.